My name is Wendy Rubio and I'm the Emergency Services Program Manager here at the Long Beach South Bay Office of Lutheran Social Services. Our Emergency Services Program provides basic needs to individuals who are struggling to put you know, food on their tables. We provide them with food, with clothing, hygiene items, and also referrals and resources and programs to help them in their journey. My name is Lisa Gillette and I am a case manager for It's a New Day, a permanent supportive housing program here at LSS. Martin's a client that was matched to us through the Long Beach Rescue Mission. He's been homeless for several years due to the fact of substance abuse. He lost everything and through our program we were able to provide services and provide a home for him which he hasn't had for several years. I grew up here in the uh, Long Beach area. I left when I was 19. Uh, <laughs> my dad kind of gave me an ultimatum which said service, job, college, or step. And so I stepped, I went to Utah, and lived with my mom for two and a half years, ended up getting married uh, at the age of 21. Not my best decision, but you know, <laughs> that's just one of the few bad choices I've made in my life. Uh, my wife and I ended up getting divorced. Um, came back down here, my mom got sick, I went to take care of her, she lives in Altadena, California, and uh, one day she just up and told me, I don't like you, and could you please leave my home? And after that, I really had no place to go. And so uh, after about uh, 30, 40 phone calls to different shelters and programs in the area here, I finally got a hold of uh, Chaplain Ed, Ed Robinson over at the Long Beach Rescue Mission and he said come on down and uh, I was there for two years. About my six month in the program over there uh, where I graduated and worked and uh, finally my name went from the bottom to the top. I finally made it to the top and uh, I got a call from uh, Miss Lisa and the rest is history. It's just, uh, they've done a lot for me. The hardest moment for me was to realize that your family and nobody else wants you. Uh, first of all, <laughs> Miss Lisa and, and Miss Wendy were extremely patient with me. Um, she let me know that I didn't have to just accept, you know, the first place or the second place. She let me know it got a certain limit, but I told her, you just, just be patient with me. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's like when you're homeless and you live in a sheltered environment, you know, living with like 12 guys in a the room, then 10 guys in a the room, then five guys in a the room, and then finally got to where it was just me and another roommate. And then finally I got my own room because he moved and they wanted to move somebody in. When you get your own place, it's nothing like it. It's nothing like having your own home. The people here really care about you. You know, they, they, they really care. And in this environment, this world today, you don't find a lot of people like that. It's a good program. Uh, Miss Lisa always asks how I'm doing. And uh, if I need anything, am I all right? You don't find that. Not in today's world. LSS does a lot for this community here in Long Beach, California. You know, they feed. This. People are hurting here in Long Beach, you know? and. Uh, there's so many programs involved here that I haven't even taken advantage of yet because I'm just getting used to having my own place. So, you know, I'm still, I'm still unpacking. They will help you get rid of some of your baggage. <laughs> help you take it to the next level. LSS and my particular caseworker, Miss Lisa Gillette and Miss Wendy, they're awesome. They're, they're a blessing.